Hi Leo, welcome to your singles love tarot reading for May. This is Mary and this is Sunlight Insight Tarot. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome, welcome and thank you, Leo. Let's see what's going on for singles. I'm looking at your energy, the energy around you. This could be anything, someone from the past, somebody new, somebody you just met, whatever the situation may be. Let's see what's going on for Leo singles sun moon rising venus male or female general collective reading please only take what resonates for you including the signs mentioned you definitely can flip it switch it when you need to as well as cross watchers could actually be a reading for you all right so we have saint and sinner hmm. all right something's good and bad let's see all right this one wanted to fly out we have the prophet so let me just read you a little bit about the prophet here. Let's see. So this says here, be patient, trust for angelic forces are at work in your life right now. Feel the presence of the goddess within you. Ask her to clear your mind so that you may hear her guidance within your heart. Oh, be prepared, be prepared for a pleasant surprise. A sudden inspiration when you least expect it. And I'm getting a lot of fire energy here too, which you are a fire sign, Leo. So it could be that, you know, it could be a relationship or a connection you've had where it was good, it was bad, it was good, it was bad. But the prophet is like a very high energy. So something could be changing here and you could be getting a pleasant surprise. So... Let's see where this is going for Leo. Hope you're all doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time. Everything you need to know is down below. You can check that out if you'd like to. Your playlist is down there. A lot of your May readings have gone out. If you are new here, I do eight different readings a month. Published twice a week, Monday, Thursday, 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you like a lot of different styles of readings, please do check out the uh, channel. All kind of love readings, uh, new moon, full moon, money, career, spirit messages, which spirit messages just went out as well as the uh, full moon in Scorpio. And after this, I'll be going into the June readings already. Peaks of Joy, Leo, and Rock Bottom. Well, see, I keep, this is the energy I get. It, it, when it's good, it's good, and when it's bad, it's bad. So we have Peaks of Joy, 33. Three is about collaboration, teamwork, growth, expansion, rebuilding, and then Rock Bottom. So fall to the bottom, and then we rise to the top. 10 endings and new beginnings. Hmm. So same energy that I'm picking up. So let's see what else do we need to do for Leo. Leo, I also have another channel I started about a month ago. It's for Twin Flames. Link is below if you'd like to check it out. I do the Zodiacs about once a month over there. And I also do a masculine reading, feminine reading, uh, a 5D conversation reading, and spiritual guidance for separation. And I post there every Monday, Thursday, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Not as many readings over there, so I do a lot on this channel, and I work a full-time job. So, oh, let's, well, what do we have here? We have health, rebirth, and individuality. I usually take two, but three fell out, so I guess we'll take them. A lot of this red fire energy coming in here. Health, 71.8, which is about growth, expansion, putting in the work. And we have 16, 7, divinely guided spiritual energy, rebirth, individuality, 11, which is a life path, soul path number. So what I feel like here at Leo is that some of you probably had to disconnect from this person to like re, uh, to like find yourself again for your own health, mind, body, and soul. You know, and individuality, again, finding who you truly are again. But then we have this energy of rebirth and we have blue, which is the throat chakra, which can be about truth, communication. So I have a sense here that maybe, you know, if you've been, maybe you broke it up or you separated just to have space to kind of, or kind of like recalibrate is kind of what I heard. It may have been the best thing to do here because we do have rebirth, which is kind of like the um, judgment card. All right, so let's see here. 
Romeo singles. What do we need to know? So definitely, if you're watching this, you definitely are single. So I feel like you probably either split up with this person, you separated. So you've been either single for a while. Um, maybe you both said that. We need to go our own ways to kind of find ourselves again and kind of have like a rebirth within ourselves. And if it's meant to be, maybe someday it'll come back around. Leo, the Ace of Cups. I'm going to put it back in because I didn't um, ask for a shuffle yet. So let's take a look at your energy. Eight of Swords. Yeah, kind of. That's what I felt in this connection, like feeling very stuck and bound to each other. Kind of became a very addictive, obsessive, um, codependent. All right, Leo, you have the Four of Cups. So I think you still wonder about this person, even though you're single. There's a rebirth that I talked of, Scorpio energy, for the energy around you. So let's take um, a look at your energy. So you're definitely still thinking about a situation here. There's that Eight of Swords coming out again. Page of Cups. That's what I'm, I'm getting like a fresh new energy with this like outlook or communication because page of cups is like the early stages of something ace of pentacles solid stable grounded energy six of cups is a returning so you're definitely feeling about six in the four is the ten of cups so you're definitely thinking about maybe you know reaching back out to somebody from the past now a lot of you say i know from the past it's not your reading so don't waste your time or my time Leaving me a comment that it's not your reading, just click off and go watch someone else. So I hate to be like that or say like that, but people need to understand if it's not your reading, if you get triggered, there's something that you need to heal, you know, and if you know it's not your reading, go, oh, okay, it's not my reading and you click off. No big deal, but I don't need all kind of comments just saying. Page of Swords. Yeah, cause I need to say that, I think. <laughs> so it's just, that's why I had turned comments off because people just don't get it that... It's everybody's reading, you know, not just your reading, not just my reading. It's everybody's Leo. It's all of Leo's. Mm -hmm. So if you're like, I don't want anyone from the past, not your reading, click off. Sorry. <laughs> okay, Leo, back to the reading here. Oh my God, the Ace of Swords. Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Swords. So Leo, you're definitely thinking about somebody. I think you, you broke it off because you both needed to like find yourselves again or at least you did but now you're in the energy hmm, i wonder i mean eight of swords cannot stop thinking about this person thinking about reaching out for maybe a little conversation you know you know are we more stable and stable energy now have we changed can we take a fresh new approach here honest communication there's the ace of swords sword of victory truth clarity communication Wow, Leo. So there's something about manifesting here too, Gemini Virgo. There's the Ten of Cups. I had just said that, Ten of Cups. Oh my God. Maybe now wanting commitment. Hierophant. Taurus energy. Ten of Swords. I definitely feel like it, it's been over for a while here and there's been no communication. Uh, the High Priestess, Pisces energy. But there's that rebirth, judgment, reaching out, <laughs> resurrection, healing, forgiving, letting things go then not serving. Life review, relationship review. Release the things of the past. Wow, Leo. So I see Pisces, Taurus, Gemini, Virgo, Aquarius, Pisces again. Communication could be keeping tabs on each other too through social media, but the Page of Cups can be apologies. It could be, you know, being a little flirty. Let's just test the waters here. Yeah, I think you really, Leo, you're really thinking about somebody here and you're wondering if it's time to come back together. You could have been, um, it could be like a year for some of you. And you may be wondering, hmm, I wonder if they're still single. So this person, we have Scorpio on this side, or the energy here, whoever this is, is definitely in that rebirth energy of death. So definitely there was an ending here. Maybe they ended it. I don't know. But uh, that's, you know, this a rebirth energy, healing, transition. So let's see what their energy is like, Leo. 
two of wands. I'm almost feeling like they're wondering if the path is, because they're looking over at you, Leo. So it's almost like they're wondering if the path is still open. Chariot, as I say, the chariot. I got this in another reading I was doing. I got the chariot right after the two of wands. And it's like, is the path still open for me to drive my chariot on through to Leo? Oh my God, Cancer Energy. Eight of Wands, another card of traveling. So they're also thinking about taking action back towards you as well, Leo. So Cancer Energy here showing up. Drive, ambition, balance, success, victory, you know, positive movement forward. Could be traveling or distance. Six of Wands, success and victory. There's the offer on the wreath. You're both sitting in the same energy. I think the time apart, really and working on your own selves, I think did a lot of good. That's probably what was needed here. Five of Wands, yeah. Could have been a lot of conflict. Maybe they had inner conflict. They may be worried here that you have, uh, they have competition or you're getting offers from other people. You know, people like fighting for your attention maybe. You may be worried about that. Temperance, Sagittarius energy. Soulmates, divine alchemy, peace, harmony, joy, healing, patience, past lives together. Oh my goodness. They feel like the time is right now that, you know, conflict is over and they want to be the victor here. If you have competition or if people are fighting over you or if they're worried about that, they want to be the victor here. They want to take action towards you. They're wondering if the path is still open. Oh my gosh. All right. What else do I need to know here for Leo? So they're wondering the same thing you're wondering. The moon, uncertainty, fear, Pisces energy, strength. Leo, there you are. Wow. So they're definitely thinking about you, Leo. Look at that Leo here. <sighs> Strong, confident, brave, past lives together. Connection that cannot be denied. They can't deny it anymore. They have some fear. Seven of Pentacles. So they, they've done a lot of investing in themselves as well. Hangman. Pisces energy, limbo. So feeling like, you know, the energy between you has been stuck for far too long now. Um, so we have 12. So something about a year. So it could be a year, maybe 12 weeks, but I'm thinking more like a year um, for some of you. Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, this person invested in himself, worked on themselves. They want to come out, of, come out of the hangman's tree. They gain their strength here. Strong connection. They can't deny it anymore. They have a little fear, though, with that moon. But there's a lot of waiting, I feel, on both sides here. Queen of Wands. There's you, Leo, and the Knight of Wands. It could be all your energy or, or another fire sign. For me, that's Aries and Sag. But it could be your energy. Nine of Pen Pentacles. Definitely single. Two single cards. So two single energies here. Still thinking about past situation and what brought the separation having some, you know, sadness, regret over that and cause a lot of deep introspection and healing on both sides, I feel. And finding the light. And now, maybe the now is the time for a commitment here, Capricorn energy and the big change, Tower energy. Wow. Leo, and there's an exciting new beginning in rebuilding. Three of Pentacles. Could be somebody you worked with at one time or something with traveling or commuting or in your travels. Leo. So you both are sitting in the ener same energy of wanting to take action towards each other, but nobody's really doing that as of yet. But there's a lot of waiting here. Wheel of Fortune is fate and destiny. So somehow you're going to come back together with this person. I feel Sagittarius, Leo, Aquarius, Taurus. There's a lot of love. Queen of Cups here, Cancer. Knight of Swords. Someone's going to take action quickly. Aquarius energy. It's not really giving me... Um, too much, but somebody could be taking action here. All right, could be in the next eight weeks, maybe even eight days. Usually, pentacles are very slow. That's more like years, but I wouldn't say eight years. That would be a bit ridiculous. All right, let's see. It could be August. All right, and that is your birthday, Leo. Advice and guidance for Leo. Advice and guidance for Leo. Love yourself. 
that's exactly what you both needed to do. Work on yourself, loving yourself, healing, doing that life review, relationship review, the rebirth. Reflect on your truth. Oh my gosh, exactly. Exactly. You both done a lot of work on yourself. Forgive and forget. A lot of forgiveness, forgetting, healing, going within. Seek hidden treasure. There's a lot to unfold with this connection that you have not seen yet. And facing shadows. Yeah, wow. I can't make that up. And nurture yourself first. Wow, Leo. I can't. I can't. Yeah. So, and it does say here, go for your dream. So, someone's going to go for it here because you are their dream. But there was a lot of shadow work. I feel like on both sides that needed to take place. And I feel like now is the time, Leo. So no more up and down, good and bad, good and bad. You know, I feel it's going to only be good from here. Peaks of joy. All right, Leo, that's what I have for you. So I hope that helped it resonate. Again, thank you so much for being here. It's truly, truly appreciated. You can check out your playlist down below, the other May readings, the Twin Flame channel also if you'd like to. So wishing you the best, Leo, and I shall see you next time.